Greetings, salutations, and welcome to the Krieger Cast. I'm your host, Patrick Krieger, and I'm joined once again by Matt. What's going on? So today, Matt, we are going to be talking about family Christmas traditions. Um, I know that you have a very specific thing your family does nearly every year, mm-hmm. and uh, my family does a couple things, and we just want to uh, to share with our audience those things. So uh, do you want me to start? or do You, you can start, start, yeah. Well, a couple things. Uh, for my family, Christmas really has a definitive start point. Uh, I know a lot of people like to have their Christmas bleed in almost to October, and other people don't like to start Christmas until like the week beforehand. I know a couple of my friends are getting their Christmas tree uh, today, actually. So, and today is the 8th of December, so I find that a little fascinating, getting your tree this late. But uh, for my family, every year, the day after Thanksgiving, we go pick up a tree. I, it's like that's a very critical thing to my family for my entire life that's what we've done we always go and get a tree set it up and it normally takes us like three or four days to decorate it because uh you only want to decorate a tree when you're happy and typically getting decorations out of storage and you know putting lights on the tree and all that jazz seems to cause uh let's just say a little bit of friction in the family so it normally takes a couple days because we'll we'll get starting and then we'll get to arguing and uh, we'll uh, we'll call it quits for the day and a couple days later we get the tree up and I always find that really the sign of the times as it were. So that's the the first thing that my family does each year. We other than that the things aren't too consistent. You know, there's things that we've done year to year, like we, we have Christmas turtle, which is just a turtle that sits on the Christmas table. Okay. Um, as well as we typically give each other uh, chocolate oranges, though parts of my family actually give real oranges, which is a little intense. I don't know. Or- have you ever gotten an orange in your stocking? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's not that weird, apparently. I didn't even realize it. Yeah, I have. That's weird. Yeah. I, I hear it's a thing from the Depression. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's, uh, I get those from my grandparents, so that would make sense. Yeah, they were very expensive, and they're out of season. So, like, how cool is that to get an orange in the middle of winter? Mm-hmm. So, that's where I've heard that coming from. Well, anyway... Those are uh, the the big traditions in our family. You know, of course, we do the stockings and the gift giving and, you know, all those stereotypical things. But the the big thing is getting the tree the day after Thanksgiving. So what about you? I know you have a thing your family does. Well, I haven't done it for the last eight years, nine years, something like that. But that's because I've been working. But um, during the time that they uh, have to go up. But... Um, what my parents do is they go up from Southern California to Northern California to their, uh, my mom's side of the family and, uh, they're all located up there and they do uh, Christmas up there. Um, we f- drive up, it takes eight hours roughly, um, <clears throat> on the way there, uh, I think it, they leave, let's say if like Christmas for this year, um, they would be leaving on Thursday, um, or Friday. No, they're going to leave Friday this year. Um, drive up Friday. And then they uh, get to their like hotel Friday night. Um, or Friday afternoon, rather. 3 o'clock, they check in. Then uh, they we cruise around the town a little bit, you know. Uh, then go over to my grandparents' place for dinner. Have dinner. Go back to the hotel. Go to bed. Right? Anything specific for dinner? For Christmas dinner? Oh no no! This is the night before, or oh. this is this is uh, like Friday night, Christmas Eve Eve. Yeah, well, I mean, let's take this year for example. So this year uh, isn't Christmas on the Tuesday. I actually couldn't tell you. I'm sorry. I believe it is on Tuesday. Um, so if Christmas was on a Tuesday, they'd drive up Friday, and then it is just, yeah, and uh, just relax kind of um, uh, the rest of that day. On the Saturday, they would you know. Uh, go over to my grandparents' place um, in the morning, and then we'd decorate the tree. 
um, a little bit more than it. Like they have like minimal decorations on it, and then we all do it as a family. Um, that decorating the Christmas tree as a family thing seems to be a really big deal. Yeah, yeah, and you know it, it's it's good because like my uh, grandpa will make pancakes and uh, my dad will make waffles, and so after we have breakfast, then we you know all decorate the tree, finalize it, boom, looks good. Then uh, we decide what we want to do for the rest of the day. Usually it's going to Nevada City, um, hanging out, you know, going shopping, walking around seeing stuff um then you know come back you know to my grandparents place you know do dinner again go home then sunday uh christmas eve eve um same thing you know the christmas tree's already done so we're just hanging out we're doing family things you know whatever we could think of then christmas eve um it's uh like everyone's over the entire day we're all you know doing board games and talking watching tv and doing that kind of stuff then my grandmother will make the best lasagna i've ever had on christmas eve and then lasagna for christmas eve that's pretty cool yeah and apparently it's every year um and my mom knows how to make it like my grandma does but chooses to make it differently because she's like all right this is my recipe this is hers but i told her i prefer my grandma's <laughs> recipe it's better um i mean not to say that my mom's lasagna is bad but it, it's amazing it's the second best lasagna i've had but the best is my grandma um anyway um you know and then we go home and then we the next morning christmas you know we get there early we do you know uh, all kinds of huge breakfast foods and stuff more waffles and pancakes and sausages and all this and you know do the present giving and all that and then after that um usually we will uh, go out and uh go off-roading um yeah like what we, <laughs> usually like my dad and i always every year um at least when i went we'd go and do off-roading and it was in a toyota sequoia at the time usually mm, good car um yeah and uh you know, V8, long wheel, uh, uh, long, uh, uh, wheel travel. Uh, no, uh, wheelbase. wheelbase. And, uh, it, 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 you know, did the trails really, really well. Um, but yeah, we'd try to go find some, like, just gnarly, like, just in the woods somewhere, deep, like, no civilization kind of stuff. And it sounds weird. To think about like oh you know you're in california but we found some gnarly people when we were out there like some straight <laughs> off-roading on <laughs> christmas yeah. eve yeah no christmas day um, oh gosh Sorry. yeah so uh we, we found some gnarly people out there um people that don't see other people for months years and Little people. yeah very much so and uh but yeah play in the snow i mean we play in the snow uh other days as well but um we go out and seek out cool things on Christmas Day, come back, and then have a big Christmas dinner, uh, usually, you know, honey-baked ham or whatever, and uh, some other stuff. The normal foods. And uh, then we go home, and then we leave uh, the next morning to go home um, and get home roughly around midday. That seems like the worst day to travel, but fair enough. Um, I mean, we leave at 3 a.m., so... Okay, yeah. You know, we're, we're home by, you know, at the latest noon. We oh, beat gosh. all the traffic, so... Yeah, like noon would be about when I would leave. Yeah. Well, actually, that reminded me of a couple more things that my family almost always does. We actually spend uh, Christmas Eve at <clears throat> South, uh, either South Coast Plaza or Fashion Island. All right. We uh, switch it up year to year, you know, uh, not any con sort of consistency. But to go look at the Christmas decorations. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, I love where I live. It's the greatest. Yeah, we really do have our malls really deck the halls. Yeah. Um, Brea, Brea was nice, but it wasn't like, it wasn't done up like right next to South Coast. Yeah. You know, right next to South Coast. Because I drive right in front of South Coast, or between South Coast on, uh, what street is that? Uh, Bear. And... Uh, it's just jolly. Doesn't South Coast even switch out the uh, the horses on their merry-go-round for reindeer? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, yeah, I believe so. I was going to say that. I posed that as a question, but that was a statement. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't think I've ever been on that, you know, 
thing, carousel. When I was Whatever. little, I did, of course, but not now. You know that's the second joke like that I've made this day? What? Uh, I was at a, a Christmas toy drive this morning. Sure. And uh, there was a woman there selling children. That's why you were up so early. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why are you texting me this early? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was at a Christmas toy drive this morning. And there was this woman selling children's books. And she was talking about the different levels of reading. Okay. You know, and so I said... You know, my parents said something like, or my dad said something like, uh, you know, our son's a little old for this stuff. And I said, yeah, I think I've mastered reading by this point. Um, cool. Yeah. Anyway, my family also used to go to Disneyland um, early on in the Christmas season. I don't know why we don't do it as much anymore. I think partially because Disneyland has become so crowded. I was actually hearing a rumor that on the lowest traffic days... At Disneyland, you have to get there uh, sometime between uh, five and six to get there when the doors open at eight. Yeah, I mean, every time I go, um, it's uh, you know we get there at like seven fifty, and doors open at eight, let's yeah. say, and we walk in. But when was I mean, the last I, time you were there? I only deal with. I only deal with like people that work there. Mm. So like every time I go there, I get hooked up by people that work there. The big thing is the security lines, man. Well, I mean, we walk right through those. Yeah. Strapped and everything. No. <laughs> Apparently it's uh, <laughs> roughly uh, one and a half hours now to go through the security lines. Well, that's not any time I've been through, but um, I mean, just we've done park rumors. hopping. Yeah. But um I don't know. Jess really loves that stuff. We're actually... Um, oh, wow. Yeah, you actually, got a special Christmas thing going yeah, on this year. Yeah, so I'm flying out on Friday um, to go to Florida um, to do Christmas with Jess's family. And that's over in Florida. And they're about an hour uh, east of Orlando. They, they're right on the coast. They're like 20, 30 minutes from... No, they're like 20 minutes from Cape Canaveral. Um Anyway, we're going to go to Disney World. Um, and I've been there a couple times now. And But we're going to be doing... I th They have this like huge Christmas uh, uh, like thing on Friday night. So we're going to that. Um, and uh, yeah, it should be pretty fun. Um, Is Disneyland open on Christmas Day? Yeah. Oh. I know I know. Ted had worked uh, on Christmas Day before. That's sad. Well, he... Yeah, I mean, it's... it's funnest place in our happiest place on earth and you know on christmas tenfold more i don't know <laughs> yeah i guess so i and guess so it's, it's a fun thing that you could do with your family and then so for working there everyone's just always in you know a good spirit because it's disneyland or disney world you know yeah i almost want to say that my family used to go to the thanks or used to go to uh, disneyland the day before thanksgiving it might have been on christmas eve though you know uh cool <laughs> i mean i don't know yeah. uh it's, it's i don't i see i would never go alone i would only go to either disneyland disney world disney tokyo i don't care Who um goes to it alone i don't know people uh well like with like a guy friend i would never go with a guy friend i would only go if my girlfriend uh dragged me there and jess has successfully been able to be the only person to do that i was gonna try to talk you into going i desperately want to go to disneyland well, it's something you do with like a significant other or a group of people, like yeah, on a date or enough. something. You know, Knott's at Berry least Farm's at our better. age, Knott's Berry Farm blows. Knott's Berry Farm so much better. Hate, hate, hate Knott's Berry. That's where lines are long. That's it's Knott's Mary Farm now. It's 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 more <clears> like uh, the worst place on earth, and it's so close and convenient. Yeah, it's actually really nice. Well, back in when I lived in Brea, it was uh, Disneyland was closer. Mm. <laughs> I used to go there all the time in high school. Real like it was just down the way. You could get a year pass for like sixty bucks, and boom, you could just go there, ride a couple rides, and leave. It's pretty nice. Get some funnel cake. Yeah, not about any of that. Um, although I will admit that the rides at Disneyland are or er, uh, not very fun. Better. Seriously, I like roller coasters, and mm -hmm. Disneyland doesn't really have too too many uh, roller coasters. They got Space Mountain, they got the Matterhorn, and I love doing those too. But the, and then uh, they now have that uh, that thing in Cars Land. I forgot what it's called, Raceway or something like that. Oh, yeah. 
Um, that's super fun as well. But that 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 Cars Land uh, roller coaster thing, that's broken down on me every single time I've been on it. Well, if you want to talk about breaking down rides, man, I had a wheel come off. That is nerve-wracking. Oh, no, no. Better than that. So the, the best, two best malfunctions I've ever had. <laughs> two best malfunctions I've ever had. Um, one was uh, I had the safety strap on the Supreme Scream fail. That is god awful. So the thing about it is, is the the shoulder, yeah. the shoulder thing totally worked. Everything was so cool. that was like locked in, but yeah. then you didn't have that third yeah, uh, that kinda, little extra strap. Yeah, yeah that, they call that, it the fifth strap for uh, harnesses in, in race cars. Anyway, that yeah. broke. That is scary because then you could <clears throat> slide right out. Technically. So you're gripping yeah. onto the handles on the shoulder thing as tight as you could, huh? I didn't even think of that because I was just like, I felt okay because of the shoulder straps. I'm like, the shoulder straps work. But the, no, the, that one, it didn't scare me. I don't. that's like a like, double safety, right? Because yeah, you have the, the clicking and the locking yeah. and everything of the, the top portion. But then it, you know, that hooks you into the, you know, that makes, prevents it from a secondary failure. Though I did see a uh, guy's... Uh, one of those pop off. That is awful. Uh, we were on the thing, and the guy the thing got like maybe about ten feet up in the air, and then it went pop straight up, and the ride stopped. <laughs> and yep. Just slowly came back down. Yeah. And everyone got off. Yeah. Um, the best failure I ever had though was on uh, Ghost Rider. I never had any failures with any roller coasters like that. My the, literally the only. Uh, issues I've had with rides have breaking been, down. Have yeah, have been uh, at uh, Cars Land that speed raceway or whatever they hell uh, whatever they call it. Um, but yeah, and it, the first time it was we were going inside. It was like a slow portion of the ride where we were just like driving through, and it was like going through downtown of like the Cars area, and uh, then it, it was all dark. All the lights turned off, and the ride stopped. <laughs> and so everyone's like, what? And then red lights came on. And I was like, all right, this is cool. And then it stayed like that for 45 minutes. And then we drove out. And like, if they fixed it, we drove out. And then they proceeded to like, all right, no, you guys are going two more times. Oh, thank you. And you're now stuck on this yeah, thing. <laughs> you are not getting up. And just at the time, I was like, I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. You know what's funny is that's all I remember of that story. You've told me this <laughs> yeah. before, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, so right after we got off, she jetted out. She Explosion of, you know, person out of a vehicle thing, out of a ride. And, uh, yeah, I met her at the bathroom. Um, but the second time, uh, all it was was uh, it stopped in the same place. But it didn't turn, like, the lights didn't turn off. So, and then it waited, we waited there for, like, ten minutes. Then we went, like, you know, a minute down the, you know, the, the ride. And then it stopped again. Waited, like, another ten minutes. And then it did it again. And they took us around another two times. And had the same, same thing again. Jess had to go to the bathroom. And it was, like, come on, Jess. Get control of your bladder. Hmm. So... I'll build up to the the Ghost Rider story because the the there's a more mild one, but that was possibly scarier. I was on the Matterhorn. Mm -hmm. That's a fast ride. That is a fast ride, and we were coming around a corner, and there was this god awful thunk, just like a, a, a just like the snap shatter thunk noise. And I looked down, and you know one of the side wheels yeah had just blown off. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that I. I I think they have multiple. Uh, yeah, yeah, they have multiple things. So like, uh, the the one wheel that was still on of the pair was like going kathunk 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 as it was going, but the rest of the wheels were still on. So it's not like the ride would have come off. Yeah. And actually, there was like there, I don't know how else to describe it, but there was like this U bolt. Yeah. And the broken wheel was on that U bolt, like just dangling, you know, um, with like a chunk of it missing. And the ride instantly slowed down. Yeah, and they pulled that one car off to the side and said, "Thank you for riding." And we got. It. Oh man. Um, but Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider failure. On Ghost Rider, right? Have the lap belts on. Mm -hmm. Okay, lap belt and the bar. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bar didn't work. Oh. It was just going up. Oh god. So I was holding the bar down. Right? Yeah, yeah, and you're going upside down on that ride. No, uh, you don't on Ghost Rider. Oh, you don't? No. Oh, I thought you did. No, it, it's it's fast and there's a lot of dips, but no, you don't go upside down. So 
I don't know you, if you guys uh, you know, but they don't have like a place for you to store your glasses. So I'm holding my glasses in one hand. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm holding my glasses in one hand. I'm holding uh, my girlfriend's hand at the time in, with the other while holding <laughs> down on the bar. Yeah. Because she doesn't know the bar's failed at this point. Yeah. Right? And we get through the whole ride yeah. of me tense as hell. Yeah. But, you know, there's that safety belt, right? Yeah. I go to fiddle with the safety belt to take it off. Safety belt wasn't bolted down to the carriage. Oh my god! It's just it's just dangling in there. You were so lucky. Uh, well, it frankly does show you actually how safe you are on those things. Well, with both of the safety features failed, yeah, I was never at risk. There's something about like the g-force of keeping you inside the ride. Yeah, um, but also just because I I'm always rattled about like that kind of a thing. And uh, there, where were we? Uh, it was Universal Studios mm -hmm. uh, in Orlando. Um, and Jess and I were on this ride. And uh, I forgot what it was, but we were... Uh, it was a roller coaster. And I was just freaking out because the bar, it like the, the U, you know, yeah, bar yeah. thing that goes over you, it, it like stopped like right here. I'm like, what? what? Yeah. Like, and they're like, later! <laughs> They said this on, I'm like holding on and like all I got is a lap belt and this thing goes upside down. Mm -hmm. So I'm like my I'm trying to get my shoulders backed into the back of the ride so I can like brace myself and hold against that. And then it just it was stuck. It I'm like, sick guys, I could have slipped right out. Just bye man. <laughs> yeah. And they're like Everyone's good, everyone's good. I'm like, I bring it down and they don't even double check and later. That was scary. You know, it just reminded me. Uh, I, I was on, um, I was on a uh, the Supreme Scream. Yeah. Uh, with uh, some kid who was deathly afraid of this thing, yeah. and I was in like a scouting trip, and so I was, you know, trying to watch over the kid because he was one of the younger guys, and uh, I was trying to get him to sing a song with me, and I remember just like while we were on the thing to kind of distract him. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. But anyway, at the end of the thing, he's like, how the hell did you keep singing through the whole thing? Like, you know, with the, the drops yeah, and yeah. everything. You just didn't get phased by it. I'm like, well, you know, um, <clears throat> I, I I don't know about you, but for me, roller coasters were, like, really frightening as a kid. I always liked them. Oh. I, uh, I always enjoyed roller coasters. It's something about going fast that I've always loved. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I love them to this day. I love me a roller coaster. I hate teacup ride. That'll make me throw up. <laughs> roller coasters going upside down, flying at like a thousand miles an hour. That's totally fine for my body. Spinning around, vom. Wow. For me, it's the opposite. I really hate roller coasters, but I'm cool with a little like uh, kitty rides like the the teacup. But anyway, they. I went. I made a mistake. I went to a theme park with a girl I was interested in. Mm -hmm. who very much liked roller coasters okay. so at that point you just have to buck up and do whatever the hell she wants well, yeah Je jess is the same way she loves roller coasters so like a lot of it, it, that works that works out for us but yeah go on well so yeah i just bucked up and started doing them and yeah. eventually i got like to the point where i could just not be afraid of them nice i've lost that with the with the loss of practice <laughs> But, like, you know, those big drop rides, like, the first time I went on it, it was nerve-wracking as all get out. But yeah. then, like, I started getting okay with it, where I could just kind of put that out of my mind. Yeah. But this has nothing to do with Christmas traditions. No. This, well, I mean, we, uh, you know, uh, the digression of, you know, Christmas traditions, and then you going to, you know, Knott's Berry Farm or uh, uh, wherever, you Yeah. Know. And, you Disneyland. know, and I'm doing, you know, my Disney World thing on, you know, for Christmas. That's so. going to be great. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I looked the, like last week, it was the, like the high was 85 in uh, oh, gosh. Florida. I was like, sick. Love it. <laughs> I'm going to be wearing a tank top. I mean, I've been there for uh, Christmas, or not Christmas, but in the winter before and it was cold. And yeah. when, last time we went to Disney World, it was, uh, uh, it was in like the middle of like January. So... It was freezing, hmm. but not this time. No, right now it's hot. Well, I mean, I haven't checked the weather in a week, but um, and she said it's gonna be cold. And I was like, all right, you know, I trust you. So obviously, I'm bringing pants and you know jackets and stuff, but I'm also bringing shorts and tank tops, and, you know, because with Florida, you never know. You do never know. 
Well, I think this is actually a good place to stop. Um, we'll probably do another one of these later, but um, thank you very much for joining us, guys. No, yeah, we can uh, do like a, a recap, you know, from my trip. Well, no, that will be after Christmas. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, I fly, I fly back on Christmas Day. So I'll be here by, you know, <laughs> three o'clock. I, w I do want to do one on Christmas foods and candies and whatnot, because I have a whole thing to tell you guys about that. But I might do that alone. Well, I mean, do you want to do one on Christmas? I mean, I don't know what you have to do on Christmas Day. I'll be alone. Oh, snap. In a plane. Um, and then I'll be in San Diego alone, driving back alone to my alone oh, apartment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't have a place to go. But you're welcome to come for dinner. Oh, no, it's all good. We're doing uh, prime rib. All good. Well, anyway. All right, guys. Until next time, see you out there.